In this video we're going to be using SAP Business Subjects Data Services and we're going to have a brief look at using a central repository which has been created on a SAP HANA database. So to give you a recap, what we've done in another video is I've demonstrated how to create a central repository and a central repository can be used to share content between developers. So I'll just give a brief recap by going to the Data Services Designer and connecting to a repository. So I'm going to log in as student with the password welcome1. And what you'll see is that we have two local repositories. In this short demonstration, I'm going to create content which is in my local repository here I'm going to upload it to my central repository and then I'm going to log in into my other repository which is my local repository and copy that content locally. So I've already connected to a central repository in this repository so I'll go ahead and do the same thing in this other repository in the local repository. So I select it and then log in and then I'm going to choose here the password for the actual database, which for me is welcome one. So the first thing that we need to do, and again I've covered this in another video, is to connect to my central repository. The other repository that you saw, my test DS repo, is already connected to a central repository. So in order for me to share content from this repository to that other repository, one of the ways we can do it is through a central repository. So to connect, I go to Tools, and I select Central Repositories, and I select Add in terms of my Central Repository Connections. I enter the password for my Central Repository, which for me, I created in another video, and is DSCentral123. And then you can see I've connected to that repository. So the only thing I need to do is activate enter the password of that central repository again and when I click on OK we'll have connected to the central repository. How do I know? Well you can see here we have an icon which indicates that I've connected to a central repository and additionally we have a new icon appear here where I can select it and now I can see that central repository. So I'm going to log out of this repository and go back into my other repository just to show you what we have in that repository. So I'm going to log in as student with the password welcome1. I'm going to connect to that other repository and I'm going to log in as that password for that local repository where the password is dsrepo1. Again because I've already connected to the central repository there, I need to also log into the central repository. So again, this is the other repository called MyTestDS repo. You can see here we've connected to the same central repository, and you can see that this repository has very little content. It has a project and a job. It doesn't really have anything else. So I'm going to go back into my other repository and I'm going to share content to this repository. So I'm going to launch Data Services Designer. I'll log in as the same CMC user, which is student with welcome one. And I'll log into that local repository. Again, I'll be prompted to log into that local repository. So I'm going to put in the local repository password. Oops which is welcome one. This is the central repository password, which is dscentral123. So now that we've logged in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share one of these projects with the other repository. So the way you can do it is very straightforward. The first thing I would need to do is turn on that repository. So I can do that by selecting Central Objects Library here. And here we can see the objects that we have in that repository. So at the moment, there's nothing really. There's no projects. 
there's no jobs, so on and so forth. So let's imagine I want to share this first project which consists of the following. The project consists of a job which consists of a data flow. If I double click and open it and select and show you, that then, I'll just close this while I'm doing that, that data flow then consists of a, a text file as a source and then three target tables which are in a HANA database. So that's quite a lot of content to copy over to that repository. So to do that, again, I select my central repository and all I need to do is select the project, right click and I have the option to add to central repository. So there are many ways you can do that. One of the ways is simply to drag to the central repository, but I'll do it the way where we right click. So there's three op options. One is to add the object. So in this case, I'll only add the folder or the project called case. But of course, what I want to do is add, on, add the objects and any dependents. So that will be the project, the job, the data flow, and then any of the source objects and target objects and any data stores that we used. The third option is to select with filtering and this enables us to choose which objects we want to actually move across. This is important because you might already have, for example, data stores that you don't want to override in the target or objects that you don't want to override. So that's why you have a with filtering option. I'm going to choose objects and central and dependents. Then I can add a comment, so I can apply this to all objects, and I'm going to say this is my first check-in. Then I'll click on continue, and we can see that that object has been added to the central repository. So now if I go and I have a look at what we added, we added obviously the project, but remember I added the job, so what we should see is the job as well. We should, of course, see the data flow because the data flow was in the job. We have a data store because three of our tables were template tables. And lastly, we even have a file format, which was called STS customer orders. So now these objects have been added to my central repository. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of this repository and go into the other repository using Data Services Designer. Again, I'll use the same login. But this time I'm going to use the test DS repo. So the first thing I need to do is log into the database, which is the DS repo 123 password, because I created this repository in SAP HANA. And then I'll be prompted to enter the central repository password as well. So now that we're in, what we can do, of course, is I might be a developer and I might want to use or test that job called the case, which is in the case project. It's very simple to do. I can simply select the central object library icon. And within projects, of course, we have that project and job. So now to get it or to check it out, I can right click and I can do a few things. Now in this introductory video, we're only going to look at checking out. But there are a lot of other options which will be covered in future videos. So I'm going to say, well, actually, I want to check out the object and I've got all these objects. So basically what it means is that I can choose when I check out the object, do I want to lock the object so no other user can actually use it or do I simply want to create a copy of it in my system? Which means other users will still be able to export or import the object which is in our the central object library. So I'm going to say I want to check out the object and dependence. This means when I check it out, this will also in, it will not include the data store because if I check out the data store, I have to intuit, I have to choose check out with filtering. So I'm going to include the data store. Why? Because I don't have any data stores in my system. So if I right click and say check out with filtering, 
I'm going to, I can select what I want to check out. So it's, if I click on this list, if I choose with filtering, it shows me what is going to be created. And again, you just need to be careful when you import data stores because obviously you don't want to override any connections that you might already have. So I click on next. It gives me the option if I want. It's telling me what's going to happen in terms of the data store. And then I'll click on finish. So there's a few things here which are quite interesting. Firstly, if I was to log in as the other user, I would not be able to check out the object because it would indicate that this object has been checked out by the user student. This student user is a user created in the central management console and it would obviously indicate which user has checked out which object. So the project has been checked out and of course the job has been checked out and all other dependent objects. So again the data flow has been checked out as well. So of course, now that we've checked out the object, I can see that I've checked it out because I have this red tick by the object. And of course, now what I can do is I can use or modify the object. If I double click, for example, I can of course execute the job. So you can see I have full access to that job now. And of course, I can modify the job. I can even make changes to this job. And in another video, we'll be covering what happens if I make changes to my local copy, but want to compare that with what we have in the central repository. Now again, let's say I've worked on the job and I'm happy with what I've got, but I want to release the copy which is in the central repository. Remember, if I log out of this repository now and go back into Data Services Designer, and log in as the other user, that object will be locked. So I'm going to go to login a student with the password welcome one. I'll log into that other repository. And just to demonstrate this, I'm going to log in with the password welcome one. I'll be prompted to enter the password for the DS Central repository. And just to show you, if I go back to the central repository and go to the projects, you see here, it's indicating if I right click, I cannot check out or check in the object now because it's been checked out by that other user in this other repository called my test DS repo. Everything's been checked out. So you can see all the objects have been checked out. What I would need to do, of course, is get the other user to log back into his repository and check the objects back in. Now you don't have to check your objects back in. You can just, you might have made changes and think, well, I've actually destroyed the original version, so I don't want my version to be seen as the latest and greatest version. So we can just release the lock, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, I'm going to lock in, log into the other repository, which we created in SAPANA. Log into the central repository as well. And to check the item back in, all I need to do is right click and in repository, oops, sorry, I need to go to the, um, the project, right click, and we, can, we have the option, obviously I can check in if I'm confident of what I've changed is the latest version, but I'm going to say undo checkout because all I want to do is release this and I don't want my version to be considered the latest and greatest. So I'm going to say undo checkout object and dependence. Obviously what that means is now that that object has been released and then finally if I go back into that other user's repository we should see that that user can now import that object. So again I'm going to log in as student and welcome one. Select that other repository. Log into it. So we're logging into the repository first. Then I'm logging into the central reposit repository. And now you can see, if I right click, I have the ability to check out that object as well as of obviously all the dependents. So that's one in a, f in, in a few videos that I'm going to create on using the central objects library when using SAP Business Objects Data Services on a SAP HANA repository.